our innovation in mobility will be based on three A's, Bro, autonomy, right augmentation, and affinity. Autonomy delivers a new way to experience mobility with a focus on ensuring safety and security. Augmentation, that's all about evolving conventional concepts of space and time and transforming mobility into a moving entertainment space. Affinity stands for harmonizing with people and contributing to society. We're aiming to create an open and collaborative ecosystem here. And we believe that our vision of mobility will write a new chapter in the history of how people move. And today we did bring you something, allow me to officially present to you our new brand, Afila. This is the prototype and at the heart of this mobility experience is the word feel. A feel represents our concept of an interactive relationship where people feel the sensation of intelligent mobility, where mobility can detect and understand people and society by using sensing and AI technologies. Following this prototype, we'll proceed with the development towards mass production, expecting to start taking pre-orders in the first half of 2025 and begin sales within the same year. The first shipment will be delivered to customers in North America in spring 2026. All right, let's look more closely at the prototype. As you approach, the car senses you and the media bar showing the brand logo reacts. Then when the door opens and you get in, personal authentication starts automatically. The car becomes your very own connected car, personalized just for you. The first thing that catches your eye when you step in is this beautiful panoramic screen. Our mobility will provide users with the best entertainment through various technologies and devices, including this panoramic screen. Yeah, In addition arm to arm. content like movies, music, and games, we'll propose new human-machine interfaces using the UX and UI technologies that we've cultivated so far. We envision a human-machine interface where even the home UI's philosophy, not just the theme or wallpaper, can be changed according to your own taste. Expectations of the UI are quite diverse as people have different tastes and circumstances when riding can vary greatly. We'll enable customers to change the HMI scenes according to their own desires. Now we're also considering flexibly changing the display UI area, such as using the entire panoramic screen or dividing it, depending on the number of people on board and the intended use. And that yoke steering, it was adapted to make full use of the panoramic screen that spreads out in front of you. It features a unique grip with a cutoff top. Realize a new comfortable and enjoyable mobility experience that has never existed before. Now, here we have an example of entertainment experience in the moving space. We believe that a world will come in which our own experiences will be expanded, not only in the real world, but virtually, and this will occur in mobility too. On the panoramic screen that spreads out in front of you, information on the outside world and high definition realistic CG are superimposed to organize and display what's happening around the car in a beautiful, easy to understand way. In a world where the line between reality and virtual can be ambiguous, we'll create experiences that users will simply enjoy more. We're also thinking about customization features. You can customize the interior space and operation field to your own specifications. Change the atmosphere in the car. By selecting your favorite theme, you can change the appearance of the display wallpaper, illumination, and more. And you may have noticed that the media bars will also change to match the theme. In addition to the appearance, the e-motor sound changes according to the theme, so you can create your very own personal space. Next, we have video. As you can see, there are many video titles displayed in an easy-to-see layout. You can choose which video to play from there. 
Of course, it's also possible to enjoy different content on the passenger and rear seat screens. And we're thinking about in-car gaming experiences. For example, you can bring the game you were enjoying at home into the car and pick up right from, you, from where you left off. And of course, we stick to a compelling, high-quality audio experience with 360 reality audio by utilizing the speakers embedded in the seat, you can experience the immersive feeling of being surrounded by sound from all directions. The realism of envelopment as if the artist were right there with you. The 360 degree sound reverberates, allowing you to enjoy three-dimensional, immersive, and realistic sound. Now, expanding mobility into an entertainment and moving space can only be possible with safety and security of mobility, right? Because safety and security are essential. We'll integrate Sony sensors and Honda safety, along with other intelligent technologies. This prototype is equipped with a total of 45 cameras and sensors inside and outside the vehicle. In-car cameras and time-of-flight sensors detect the driver and vehicle's condition to help prevent accidents. In order to realize intelligent mobility, high-performance computing is needed for AD, ADAS, HMI, IVI, and TCU. To that end, we've secured maximum 800 tops of computing power for ECU. Finally, Let's talk about the future. In order to realize the worldview introduced today at a high level, the power of many people is essential. We'll create an open and free environment with various partners and creators who can work together to create new entertainment and mobility. As stated in our slogan, move people through the pursuit of innovation with diverse inspirations. We thank you very much for your time and attention today. What we've shared here is really just the beginning. To everyone around the world, let's build a new world of mobility together. So we invite you to keep taking pictures and video, ask questions. We've got some fine Sony representatives right here in all black, yes, to answer questions and some kiosks there. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. that they show off at CES, but never actually come into fruition. It's more or less just R&D money being burned at CES. I'm saying burned at CES, but to be honest, you're probably like sending off this information to other companies that might utilize this in the automotive industry, which is good for them. But I feel like this is a little bit much. I mean, this is cool. Let me zoom in. Cabin comfortable. 
I mean, I'm not really sure if that technology is really needed on the outside, but the car does look cool. Um, there's no doors. I say no doors. There's no door handles. Wheels look very efficient when it comes to aerodynamics. The inside display, or I should say the interior, looks really good. Not a fan of the steering wheel. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. If you think that's a good steering wheel, just unsub. Uh, that's probably the electric charging cord that you see right there. And then here is the front. Okay. Have a good one, Sony car. Okay. Anyway. 